an assortment of products here from a Japanese brand called Vessel that is not familiar in the United States. You don't find it at Home Depot, Lowe's, or Menards. You find some products on Amazon USA. Most of these products were purchased from Amazon Japan. So this is the Vessel General Catalog. This is the Vessel Catalog for Vessel USA. And you can see the difference. So it's a Japanese company, Japanese brand, and they make products in Japan, by Japan, for Japan, and then they have other products that they do sell outside of Japan, of course, such as this Vessel JIS screwdriver, okay? And there are products that are in the US catalog that are not in the general catalog. Uh, those products are pretty limited. Uh, one example is this uh, impact ball bit set that I did a review on in a separate video. This catalog is dated 2021. I don't know if this may show up in the general catalog, but right now it's not in the general catalog and I can't find that set of bits on Amazon Japan. Pretty much everything you see here, there's a few exceptions. I'm gonna call JDM, Japanese domestic market designed in Japan, manufactured in Japan, marketed in Japan, Japanese writing, Japanese marketing. It's for the Japanese market. So the first thing we need to understand about Vessel is anvil size. As far as I know, this 13 millimeter anvil is uniquely Japanese. I'm talking about this offset on this detent, 13 millimeters. So my Milwaukee impact, this doesn't lock into that. Now that I've emphasized that, I have to qualify my statements by pointing out that yes, there is a line of bits in their industrial line that have the nine and a half millimeter offset that's the E6 standard and these fit in American power tools like a Milwaukee Impact. They also make a double anvil with a 13 and a nine and a half that'll fit both. Don't think that I've ever mentioned that on any of my previous videos. And the reason is these are boring. These are just boring. I'm not interested in these. I'm interested in all this variety. Uh, for example, this. Okay, Th by the way, this is not a detent. That's just machining for torsion. That's not an actual detent. This is the 13 millimeter detent on this. But look at the beautiful laser etching on this. Who does this? The Japanese manufacturers, as far as I can tell, they're the only ones that do this. You know, the Japanese have the Kaizen philosophy of constant improvement. So they're always looking for ways to change something, add something, make something more interesting, make it more compelling. You can see that here. Vessel does not make Phillips. All of these cross type bits, I have some Torx, I have some hex, but the rest of these are just what we would look at and say Phillips. These are not Phillips. These are Japanese cross type. In their own words, they refer to this as uh, like a Japanese cross point. I'm not gonna go into depth with this documentation, but the point here is it's hard to distinguish the difference between a Phillips and a JIS, but there is a difference. So if Japan didn't specifically verbatim follow the development of Phillips in this country, am I saying that they're not compatible? No, they are compatible. You can buy this Vessel JDM bit, and this is an American screw, and it fits, it works, it's great. Many, many people don't know anything about this brand. They don't even know that Japanese bits are different than American bits. A lot of people don't know that this 13 millimeter anvil is gonna create frustration if they intend to put it in an American power tool. So why would people want to bring products that are designed for a different market into this market? All right, there are some interesting reasons why. 
JDM enthusiast collecting is one of the reasons that somebody would be interested in this product line. But there are practical reasons beyond that, and I've, and I've shown those on previous videos. So I'm going to just briefly mention that these bit holders, which are common E6 style bit holders, these are not made for Japanese bits, but Japanese bits with a 13 millimeter anvil, it just so happens, lock into these with very little play, okay? And I've demonstrated this in other videos and I'm repeating myself, but this may be the first video that some people see, okay? This hot set bit holder, it doesn't lock, but it does pretty good, it stays in there and there's very little play, all right? So the hot set and the Weha Centro Fix. The Weha Centro Fix is the best, zero play. Neither one of these are made for Japanese tools, but these work really well in these bit holders because of this larger anvil. Okay, another reason why you might wanna be interested in this product line is if you watch guys on YouTube like tools and stuff, and you get interested in JDM Makita, okay? So this is a Japanese TD001 impact. This is made in Japan, okay? This is the identical tool sold in the United States, and you can see that this one is UL listed and this one is not, okay? This one is made in China, this one is made in Japan. So there are JDM power tool enthusiasts buying JDM tools, bringing them over to the United States for various reasons, and that's getting outside the scope of this video. But there are affiliate links for this product in the description of this video. The control panel is in Japanese, and this is not the newest version of this. This is the TD001. There's a TD002 that has four LEDs on the front. The body moldings are slightly different. They put a design, a graphic design, in the molding itself. It's pretty unique, it's very interesting. The point being, if you are JDM collecting Makita, then you need to know about this brand because these are the bits that are designed for this tool. And you can only get it from Japan, all right? For example, this JDM bit fits and locks into the chuck of this Makita because this is the 13 millimeter receiver chuck for the JDM Japanese 13 millimeter anvil. If I go over here and grab my USA Makita, made in China, it does not lock, okay? So this receiver is different than on the JDM tool. But even if you don't wanna go as far as buying the power tools from Japan, the other advantage to knowing about this brand is, is that the whole issue of JIS, where do you find JIS? Carburetors. I replaced the carburetor on my steel brand blower and I did some carburetor work on my old steel brand weed eater. Those carburetors have JIS screws. A lot of components on a bicycle, even if the bicycle is made in China and it has Shimano derailleurs, those screws on those Japanese derailleurs are gonna be JIS. That's another reason why you would wanna know about this brand, because these, screw, these cross type are gonna be more compatible than the non-JIS, okay, than the Phillips. Can you still work on those carburetors and those bicycles and those Japanese motorcycles? Yes, you can. The differences are very subtle. You just have to kind of try it and see if the difference matters to you. Here are two examples from the Vessel USA catalog. These, I will put links in Amazon USA. Here's the packaging for this item. 
You've got the reduced shank. This machining is called Saki Subo. And in the US, it's called neck torsion. So you've got the neck torsion machining. So right now you might be thinking, okay, well, what's the deal with this red spring? All right, let me see if I can quickly show you one of the reasons why I prefer the JDM stuff over the stuff that's sold in the United States. If I put the Magnum bit that's made for the JDM power tool into the Makita JDM tool, the spring takes out the play in the sloppiness of the chuck, which is in everything. All the, the E6, everything. Everybody's got a little bit of the sloppiness in there. So the spring takes that out and then it makes it a little easier to eject because it pushes itself out when you eject. Okay, so it can have, it can have a little bit of a workflow improvement. Ejection is easier uh, and it takes out some of the sloppiness and the play in it, okay? So that's the feature there. Now, they bring this feature over to the United States and they, don't do it right. <laughs> and it doesn't work. What's strange is, is that in the Milwaukee, it does work. It doesn't really eject itself. There isn't enough. There's a little bit of tension there. It does take out the play, but it doesn't, it doesn't self-eject. I'm still interested in the products that Vessel makes in the U.S. market, but I'm not nearly as enthusiastic about those, which is why you don't see me talking about those very much in my videos, because that's not where the party is. This is where the party is. How come you never talk about Vessel Torx much? I don't. I do not like Vessel Torx, just being honest. Okay, so if I'm driving a large screw like this, it's Torx. I don't have screws like this that are Phillips. I, I hate Phillips. All the larger stuff, actually, even the small stuff, I use Torx. And I prefer PB Swiss. So one of the reasons that I don't like Vessel Torx is all this wobbling. Okay, here's a PB Swiss. A little bit of wobble, but it fits in there nice and tight. You know, so this is a PB Swiss T25. Never mind the washi tape on here. I use those for identifying the size. You, you can see the round curvature in the way that this is machined. So instead of it being a wedge or straight, they've got this curvature and it doesn't support this, the fastener around the top edge. And so it rocks on here. Okay, that maybe that's useful in some situations. Fine, I'll set it aside if I need to get into some tight space and I need to have like a T25 wobble bit. Well, I'll grab the vessel and see how it works. For construction related things, I primarily use Torx. I do not use Phillips. And that's another big difference between these product lines. Vessel is far more invested in Japanese cross type, the Japanese market in general. They're far more focused on cross type. This Procon series, this is, this is the series that I really like, okay? And that's this series right here. This is the one you've seen me feature in other videos. The Procon bits, they've got the nice finish on them. They've got the decal, uh, the nice narrowed shank and the Saki Subo, um, which is called neck torsion in the United States. Okay. But in the Procon line, you're limited for sizes. It's, it's pretty much size one and two. Uh, they do have a size three, uh, but typically it's size one and two. They do have some double-ended bits. The only example of combi in the Procon line that I could see were these blades. So this has a one and a three at this end. Okay, size one and three. And then your size two is on the other end of the blade here. So this is a combi. So you've got different tips on each end of the blade. 
Whereas double-ended combi, small sizes down to double zero, up to a size four is in their Gose product line is between the industrial and the Procon. They've got color coding, size one is yellow, size two is red, um, size three is blue. Uh, this is light blue. Those smaller sizes, the specialty links and the color coding you don't find in the Procon series. Uh, they've got this gold series of bits. They also have double-ended and then they have bits that have the same end and bits that have the combi or a minus and a plus on the same bit. And then they've got another color-coded series, these Eero bits, which is another color coding. I'm not real fond of these. I find these to be kind of average. And you can see that the color wears off. So here we've got the black laser series decoration just for the sake of decoration like this. I love this stuff. So sometimes the Vessel product line does not offer some overwhelming practical reason. It's just because it's fun. So I apologize if this video is not everything you hoped it to be. Stay tuned because I realize that I haven't demonstrated this. I haven't talked about their magnet products. I haven't talked about these terminal bits or these insulated bits. I haven't even really shown you this product. I have in mind doing more videos that are more specific demonstrations of specific products, but I needed to create a foundation that I didn't have to repeat in other videos so stay tuned for more videos. You know how YouTube works. You know how to do all the things. And thank you for watching.